so welcome back to vlsa for all uh, today uh, to, today's guest uh, is uh, ashish hello ashish how are you hello sir uh, i am very good and i am very happy to be with you guys and thank you for the platform okay so would you uh, would you like to give a sh uh, short uh, short uh, description about yourself yes sure yeah so my name is ashish tiwari i was born and brought up in allahabad uttar pradesh i did my schooling from the city only and then i joined my graduation at uttar pradesh technical university i did my yeah. graduation in electrical and electronics engineering and yeah. i completed it in 2016 so in 2019 i joined uh, motilal nehru national institute of technology and uh, i joined there in power electronics and drive which is a pure electrical engineering branch and uh, this is uh, all about me till now and currently i am working at uh, synopsis india as an application yeah. engineer yeah sure uh, that's a nice that's that's uh, that's nice of you uh, so would you like to tell me about uh, all the projects you did under your undergraduate and your in your um, mtech Mm -hmm. yeah. So actually, I did my project uh, in Amtech. Like I told you, I am from electrical background, so I did my project yeah. in electrical engineering thesis. Actually, so it is based okay. on multi-level inverter modulation and its grid integration. So it's a higher power application project where my inverter was uh, designed to work on like uh, like higher voltage, like three thirteen uh, thousand kV and more. So this was a very old technology but uh, uh, i did my thesis there only and uh, while doing while i was in mtech uh, at that time only i developed a desire to work into the vlsi industry so when i was in third semester i started learning verilog on my own i had a friend from electronics and communication background so there i started learning very long on my yeah. own and i did a project while uh, i was doing my thesis parallelly so yeah. that project was based on like i was very new to the very long so i just picked up a very basic project basic. it was a state machine based project and yeah. uh, the objective of the project was to uh, identify like uh, which encoding techniques consumes the minimum amount of power uh, like we represent the, all the states and different encoding techniques and then we analyzed like which consumes the least amount of the power so and then after that i did few more projects and i started learning uh, very log system very log and everything on my own so this is so could I... you uh, could you share some light uh, like you shifted from a core domain to vlsi domain just to get mm. placed in synopsis or is there any something you would like to tell it's a very students? interesting yes. question and i wanted i was expecting this and i want to answer it with all my heart like you might have uh, you might remember like the covid situation when it came yeah. the first wave yeah. when it came so we were in college uh, we i was in the second semester and uh, on the 4th of march we finished our first sessional sec first sessional of the second semester yeah yeah and sure. our yeah, yeah. Co our college got closed for the holy session and we celebrated holy on 20th of march with all of our hostel and on 21st of march the first uh, uh, like uh, public uh, the first lockdown was there for one day and uh, this is how it started and when it started the first lockdown from the april then we were we started thinking like what will happen with our career like we are in the yeah, cold domain yeah yeah uh, and exactly. how the placements will start how the placements will uh, progress and how the things are going to work like uh, we were not used to this like we are sitting in front of a laptop and everything yeah, yeah. so this was the, this was the main question in my mind and then the things started affecting us like the one of my friend was in general electric and she was doing her internship over there and she was about to finish her internship but she but they did not converted her into the yeah, into to full, full time, time full time yeah yes they, they did not know the main reason was the covid and COVID. the tata motors the main electrical core companies they ceased their hiring general electric ceased yeah. their hiring yeah. yeah so we were like in like are we doomed so then <laughs> then we huh, then my uh, vlsi friends got start they started getting opportunity in the third in the ha huh, yes in the fourth semester on the third semester only then one of my friend she is placed at qualcom so nice. she ha huh, so we we started working on 
like parallel yes at the same time like okay. we started working on a very long very long and everything else yeah then i experienced that vlsi has a very uh, it is a very uh, good thing for us like uh, we can yeah. have we have a digital knowledge also we have analog knowledge also uh, electrical knowledge. guys yes so the thing yeah, was yeah. like the picture was clear like i can do good in here as well as well so yeah. i started preparing for that and my friend helped me a lot in the process and uh, then i got confidence after doing a project like i can work here like it is not like i'm not an alien over here. yeah 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 totally totally so uh, you uh, after completing your btech so did you focus on off campus placement or in college placement uh, uh, so when i was in btech i also got an opportunity there there i got an opportunity from a core electrical company it had uh, it was uh, its name was torrent power so it was like they were offering me not much around four to five lpa so okay. but i didn't join because of uh, i had a inclination towards engineering service examination and gate so my first okay. priority was engineering services examination so i get uh, uh, i was expecting my joining at torrent power around this uh, like uh, november december uh, 2016 but at that time i changed my mind like i would go for engineering services hey. Then yeah. I started preparing for engineering services. Yes. So, so, so you did your uh, gate exam before coming, uh, before going to, for M Tech, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, sure. so uh, the main priority was engineering services first of all. So I started preparing for it. Then uh, the things went not; uh, they did not go well. So that's why I. But I was giving uh, the gate examination parallelly. With the engineering services, but they are two different exams. They are, uh, they have two different strategies as well. So, uh, with uh, in 2019, I thought like this is my last chance for government uh, sector, and uh, I'll be uh, so I'll be going for uh, MTech after this. I will join any uh, somewhere. So in 2019, I got uh, around 700 gate score in 2019. So I had an opportunity okay. to go for uh, like uh, I would have got IIT BHU at spot round and IIT Indore and IIT Gandhinagar was were open for me at this gate score, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I deliberately and uh, intentionally chose MN and IIT Allahabad uh, because of two reasons. Uh, first of all, it's my hometown, and few of okay. my family conditions. Nah, so, so there because of which, and I also I went to the campus and I talked few students over there like what companies do visit uh, this college and i heard few names then i like take if there is only even only one seat yeah then i will fight for it fight for <laughs> i won't go like uh, and it is in it, it is in hometown also so that's a that's one major point to go for exactly, the college exactly. yeah so, so i uh, so i made my mind to get into like i i just felt one choice power electronics and one branch electrical engineering then i just went for it i got in first choice so i took the admission yeah. so did you uh, did you get placed uh, after doing your btech off campus yeah. or on campus on campus i got an opportunity yeah sure 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 so could you share some uh, some uh, could you share your journey of getting placed in synopsis right after your amtech completing your amtech no, uh, it was not right after MTech. I had to fight for it uh, for like okay. three to four, four, okay. four, five months. So okay. I did. I completed my MTech in August two twenty twenty one, and sure. uh, the the effect of COVID was still there. The placements were not going very well. Uh, exactly. Very few companies from electrical uh, domain visited. We're coming the to the college. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're coming. Yeah. To very few company from electrical, but at the same time, electronics company and CSIT company were like they were lined up at the same time totally totally uh, yes this is so this i is made my mind like i'm going in the sea so uh the the then i started preparing for everything and i started learning very law system very law uvm everything and uh, i got a lot of material from youtube from vlsi for all and uh, i yes yes uh, so uh, it helped me and these materials helped me and uh, uh, i i started preparing the very ha huh? so the journey for synopsis was like they were like uh, i attended few interviews earlier it is like my fourth job i'm telling you okay from, okay uh, from november uh, in november i got my first job it was in okay. design and verification 
and uh, uh, but the package was they they were making me sign a bond of three years. So okay. that I did uh, that I didn't enjoyed. So I thought that I will wait, and then again in December I got two opportunity. Then th they they were service based company, but I thought that I will wait one more month. So then again in on sixth of January I converted one more company. It was also service based company, but they had a better package. Better. So yeah, yeah, yeah. On nineteenth of January I got the opportunity of sign off. Since then, uh, I okay. So so could you tell uh, what all the processes uh, process you followed? for uh, synopsis like uh, technical rounds assessment and all yes so there were four interviews the first interview was uh, based on verilog and digital electronics knowledge yeah. so uh, the first interview was conducted by my manager only so she presented a screen and she she had a list of questions and she asked me to solve them i solved them very the first interview was and first impression uh, was very good so i thought that i will get uh, i'll it will be very easy but the, she told me like uh, you will have you will have an another round on analog electronics as well yeah, so yeah. that was yeah. uh, that was like i haven't um, been through analog electronics for like uh, two or four or five months so but still i thought that i had some previous knowledge and i had prepared for gate examinations and ese yeah so i will just I will collect everything uh, so i will collect everything and try to answer everything so the second round was not up to the mark but it went good good so i told my manager like this is my condition at analog electronics so she told me don't worry you go with the interview we will see so i went with the interview uh, so then on the next day i had two interviews all again one was on the system very log and it went good and this other was a hr round so everything went good so uh, one point. she told me okay like, was, okay so uh, could you uh, could you tell me uh, after uh, in all the process of joining your synopsis how vlsf or helped you in uh, joining uh, synopsis okay so uh, i got a lot of uh, first of all uh, um, that friend of mine who she was working in qualcom she introduced me to the vlsi for all VLSI for, so yeah. uh, so uh, i i got a call from uh, you guys and uh, i got some materials also from there and i started yeah. referring to them so uh, i i uh, so the youtube on your youtube channel you have a plenty of videos over there yeah. so they were they are like very useful for clearing up the basic concepts and clearing up your doubts so from there i got uh, some from there i got confidence in me like uh, i refer to those videos and lectures so uh, like uh, they were like quick to start and finish like it was very very easy to go with them not very difficult so the yeah, yeah. the their design was very uh, student friendly so yeah totally was... yeah so do you think that, that there is a major gap between what a student can learn by himself and uh, with a proper guidance from an expert faculty yes i think there is a lot of gap i think because Uh, whatever we are actually i have a knowledge of both the backgrounds ec and electrical and uh, and now i have also a very little experience of industry as well so one thing i can you know like tell surely for that because that uh, the students are not taught what is asked in industry or what is used in exactly. industry so exactly. that is the main gap and student uh, are like they are like trapped in the situation between industry and the college yeah college is asking something else and industry is all asking something else asking something else yeah totally so that is like a major gap yes and what uh, what protocols related projects did you do under vlsf for all uh i talked to uh, like uh, uh, i am forgetting his name that rajat uh, sir the person rajat. Who, rajat ha rajat so rajat i talked to rajat i told him that i didn't uh, do any kind of uh, protocols related project because of my time schedule Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, so in one week only i had to face four rounds of qualcom interview one mini ratna psu interview and synopsis interview so i didn't had any kind of time so yeah. i got an opportunity to attend a mini ratna psu interview as well so uh, that was pure on electrical background and oh, i had okay, to revise okay. my thesis at at the same time and electrical engineering subjects so i could you have not to mix all the things Yes. Four electronics, digital, VLSI, analog. 
everything yeah. started coming at once everything started yeah. coming once yeah, yeah. so yeah. so so how did blsf or all helped you in your cv and resume purpose so uh, i had a, a prior knowledge of uh, like how to make your cv and how to like highlight your uh, like highlight your major interest, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, major, yeah major uh, so that uh, so and i had also uh, like guidance from that some of my friends and uh, who were who already got placed at very good companies so they helped me a lot and vlsi for all also uh, guided me to some uh, to make some changes in your resume yeah, yeah. and yes yes so they, that helped me so just uh, rajat was assisting me on everything like how you should okay, go and okay. everything so i got this opportunity on linkedin so uh, so the, from there i converted so i think it is compulsory for a student to be from a uh from a first year college to get uh, these jobs in uh, companies like uh, synopsis qualcom or is it like if you have the required knowledge you can crack their interviews their technical assessment and get a job i just gave you this answer just few minutes earlier i told you that uh, i wasn't very confident in analog electronics but anyhow it went well because of which they knew because of uh, i have worked very hard in my past and cracked some uh, national level examinations so they considered myself because they think that i will do it you so this is the yeah. major advantage what a tier 1 or tier 2 college student they get it is not like that if you are not from a tier 1 or tier 2 college student you cannot get into a very good uh, corporate company uh, it is not yeah. like that but it really helps because uh, you have worked in your past you have worked hard in your past and you have achieved yeah. something very important so that uh, adds into your resume so that is a plus point for tier 1 and tier 2 college so uh, could you think that after completing a btech you you can achieve the same uh, same as you did achieve after completing your uh, mtech i think that i didn't had that much of knowledge while i was in btech btech so, yeah yes yes so and i had COVID, a lot covid also had. covid also yeah covid also did yes, this yes yes, yes. Yeah. so i the uh, i have a lot of experience right now and i have a lot of knowledge also right now so that helped me a lot in getting into this uh, field okay 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 so anything you would like to tell uh, uh, anything you would like to say to students should uh, they go after uh, should they go for uh, mtech after this after completing the btech or after completing the btech it would be okay if they don't go for mtech okay so if you are from a uh, very uh, good institute then yeah. i would suggest you to gather some more knowledge and get a training outside from your college in the, your respective interested field the, you will get a job like good job but uh, if you are not from a very good college so you can go for mtech mtech is very useful nowadays and i am seeing like companies like qualcom synopsis uh, mentor graphics and cadence and amd these intel particularly one of my friend from it roorkee he got selected on the from the campus only and he was also from power electronics so he he was got picked up in uh, intel uh, with very basic knowledge of digital electronics and analog electronics yeah. so yeah. mtech helps a lot i have seen it i have felt it and my friend who was uh, doing her internship in general electric she pushed me into it and uh, it really helped me like yes i would say like if you are planning to get into corporate and like if you are done with your all your ambitions and expectations of your career uh, getting into ese or psu then i think that if you join the amtech from a very good reputed institute it will help you in your career so would you tell any student to get enrolled if he or she doesn't have that much knowledge about vlsi to enroll in vlsi for all yes yes you should go ahead with that and uh, uh, you guys have a plenty of information and knowledge and you have a plenty of plenty of resources i think that on youtube only and that is what uh, what i have been through that and i feel that that is what the industries are looking for so it will add up to their career yes. yeah sure 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 so uh, so your final tip you would like to give to all the students who are hiring who are having almost the same journey like yours 
yes so my journey has been a lot of ups and downs i have been through everything like it was a roller coaster ride so so i would yesterday i was talking to a like a retired uh, judge from allahabad high court i went to his home and i told him yes. everything so he just told me one line and he told me like god bless you be cheerful and be calm so this his sentence uh, i want to share with you all and he this sentence was not his a sentence particularly from him it was his lifetime experience what he has seen in the society and he was a very like a reputed person in the society and it was his lifetime experience what he told me like if you are calm in your bad days and if you are calm and collected in your mind and if you are cheerful in within yourself you can overcome any situation in your life and you will have to be very flexible and uh, like like i was not getting opportunity in electrical engineering i switched my domain at once you don't have to like uh, so rigid with you in your mind like i will only work for siemens i will only work for yeah, these companies yeah. you should make decisions at once because time will not wait for you open so, to suggestions yeah positivity yes, yes, yes. and the main reason why i am here in this interview is to tell people who are from different background from electronics and communication like an ec guy who is from uh, signal processing communication vlsi they will know everything that they have yeah, information yeah, yeah. of everything what yeah. uh, i have just said but a electrical guy who ha- they don't have this much of knowledge and they don't have that confidence also that they can yeah. switch their domains yeah they have only yeah. one uh, choice like they go to cs or it but let me tell you that uh, this domain is open for you guys all and uh, you can uh, you, these are your core subjects like digital electronics analog electronics you just need to add something up and you are industry ready over here and few of my friends who are from control systems and power systems they have they are also working for cadence and mentor graphics company like yeah. that so it is like yeah, real is- for you guys you have another career opportunity you just go for it uh, okay 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 so it uh, so that that's that, that's the end of the interview uh, it no. was lovely talking to you the same year same year said <laughs>